in this class we will discuss some of the important problems which is based on the impact load okay so first let us understand the given problem a steel rod is 1.5 meter long a steel rod is 1.5 meter long it has to resist longitudinally okay it has to resist longitudinally an impact of 2.5 kilo newton an impact of 2.5 kilo newton falling under a gravity falling under a gravity at a velocity of 0.99 meter per second 0.99 meter per second okay here the maximum stress okay the maximum stress is limited to 150 mpa here a steel rod is 1.5 meter long it has to resist longitudinally it has to resist longitudinally an impact of 2.5 kilo newton an impact of 2.5 kilo newton falling under a gravity at a velocity of 0.99 meter per second 0.99 meter per second for example you can see here okay if there is a steel rod okay so here the diameter of the rod we don't know okay here what we need to determine we need to determine the the diameter of the rod required and also we need to find out the impact factor okay the impact factor we need to find out okay that take take e Young's modulus which is 2 point sorry 206.8 into 10 to the power 3 newton mm square okay newton mm square okay so this is a given problem okay for example here we have a steel rod okay a steel rod of 1.5 meter long okay it has to resist longitudinally it has to resist longitudinally okay so some sort of weight which is falling okay 2.5 kilo newton which is falling okay from certain height okay this is the height certain height okay and this is the length small l this is a steel rod okay the length of the rod is for example if you take given data okay first note down the given data small l is equal to which is 1.5 meter that is equal to 1500 mm got it next w okay so what is the load which is falling impact load which is falling okay this is a w w is equal to 2.5 kilo newton okay that is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 newtons then we have okay at what velocity v is equal to 0.99 meter per second 0.99 meter per second okay and uh, we have the maximum stress that is 150 mpa okay 150 mpa this is the given data regarding to this problem okay next what we need to find out first one we need to find out the height of the fall height of the height of the fall h is equal to h is equal to v square divided by 2g v square divided by 2g okay so this is the equation which is available in the okay this equation which is available in the design data handbook okay the equation number equation number 3.10 equation number 3.10 from from design data handbook from design data handbook okay this we will get it height of the fall okay if you substitute that values if you substitute these values into this equation h is equal to what is the velocity which is 0.99 square divided by 
टू इंटू जी इज नथिंग बट ए नाइन पॉइंट एट वन ओके इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस यूल गेट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर नाइन 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 फाइव मीटर्स विच इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली एच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एम एम एच इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी एम एम गॉट इट नेक्स्ट वॉट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द इम्पैक्ट ओके इम्पैक्ट स्ट्रेस इम्पैक्ट स्ट्रेस by using this equation sigma dash is equal to w by a okay 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h e a divided by w l okay this is also which is available in the design data handbook the equation number 3.11a 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 from design data handbook 3.11a from the design data handbook okay now if you substitute all the values into this equation we know the stress okay that maximum stresses okay that is equal to 150 150 is equal to we know the w okay w is equal to 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 so directly write 2500 divided by we don't know the area okay we don't know the diameter that's why we need to find out the area okay so then 1 plus square root of 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 times of 50 into 2 not e e is equal to 2 not 6 point 8 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square 2 not 6 10 to the power 3 okay into a into a divided by divided by we know the w w is equal to 2500 into 2500 into 1500 okay l w l okay the length of the okay the length of the okay the steel rod okay small l is equal to 1500 mm okay if you simplify this equation okay we will get 0.06 0.06 a is equal to 1 plus square root of 1 plus 5.51 a 5.51 a okay next okay further simplify that is 0.06 a minus one that is equal to square root of one plus five point five one a. Okay. Next square on both sides. Okay. The square on on both sides. Square on both sides. Okay. Square on both sides. If you simplify this. If you simplify this, we'll get zero point zero six zero six y minus one square. That is equal to one point five point five one y five point five one y. Okay. So if you further simplify that, okay. If you further simplify this equation, okay. If you further simplify this equation, okay. Ah, uh, we will get. We'll get zero point 
will get 0 0.00 36 a square plus 1 minus 0 0.12 a is equal to 1 plus 5 point 1 plus 5 point 51 a okay this one and uh, okay this will get cancelled okay then if you take a common a is equal to 0 0.0036 a sorry a is equal to 0 0.0036 a minus 0 0.12 that is equal to 5.51 a okay this this will get cancelled finally 0 0.036 a is equal to 5.51 plus 0 0.12 0 0.12 finally if you simplify this equation okay a is equal to 1563.88 mm square okay 88 mm square. this is the area a okay next what we need to find out we need to find out we need to find out the diameter okay that we all know that what is the equation okay to find out the area so a is equal to a is equal to 5 d square divided by 4 okay we know the area that is 1563.88 1563.88 is equal to 5 d square divided by 4 okay if you simplify this equation we'll get diameter diameter of rod d is equal to diameter of the rod d is equal to 44.62 okay which is approximately 45 mm okay so d is equal to 45 mm d is equal to 45 mm okay this is the diameter of a steel rod next what we need to find out we need to find out the impact factor the second parameter which is given in the problem we need to determine the impact factor impact factor we need to find out okay so next what is the equation okay so which is impact factor is equal to 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h 2 h e a divided by w l okay so that is equal to 1 plus square root of if you substitute all the values into this equation okay we know the okay 1 plus 2 we know h that is 50 and we know e that is 206.8 into 10 to the power 3 and we know the area that is 1563.88 1.1563.88 divided by we know the value for w that is equal to 2500 into what is the l that is 1500 okay if you simplify this equation okay we'll get impact factor if impact factor if is equal to 93.85 93.85 okay this is a given problem okay with respect to this impact loading condition with respect to impact loading condition okay so here what we need to find out we need to find out the the diameter of a rod required okay the diameter of a steel rod and also we need to find out the impact factor by using this given data okay so this is about the given problem